Hi there, I'm going to be showing you um, the next stage in this, which is basically the spraying. So you're going to get to see the exact surface, um, kind of any problems with it. You'll see any deformities, any lines or anything. This is exactly the same model as finished. Um, I've just got some plastic primer, all surface primer. I normally use this one here, which is plastic. I only bought it because it was specifically for plastic. And in my previous experience, the um, the paints didn't stick. I've got right now. I've got the Ultimaker little robot holding this one up. So I'll just put something else behind it because I don't want to spray that. Um, whatever, some I don't know what. Whatever. I'm just going to spray it now. Actually, um, so it's irrelevant. I've got it's holding it up. Generally, don't start spring on the model, start spring off the model and just cross the model. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a heavier amount in certain areas. And you should be doing this in a ventilated area, unlike me, which is inside um, my shed. It's probably going into the lens as well, but whatever. I can always get it off. I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like now, just so you can see um, the level of quality, which is quite nice. But as you can see, um, there aren't really very many visible lines. I will show you show it to you once it's gone. There is one there, but that's about it. And the chin is still slightly wobbly, but I can sort that out. Afterwards, that's no big deal, but generally For five minutes worth of sanding and if you don't even bother doing that you're still going to get close to this anyway I don't think that's a bad result um, There you go, and I didn't sand any of this at all Only the the face and large plain areas So there you have it. I'll pick it up it says touch dry after a certain amount of time, but whatever, there you go. I know it's kind of hard to see, it's really sunny outside, so um, I'm going to wait for it to dry and then um, we'll go from there. Alright, that's the print as it's finished, um, after it's been sprayed. There, you can still see some lining if you look really closely, but compared to um, an untreated piece um, there's literally no comparison basically um, so that's the result <coughs> that's just five minutes sanding I didn't try very hard to make it smooth but there you can just to show you the lines that do still exist these are the subtle ones that you really need to sand before if you want to get rid of them, you can still do a little bit of sanding afterwards if you really want. Um, but yeah, there you have it. It's no, by, by no means perfect. In fact, this is probably my worst one ever. I have a feeling I might just bite the bullet and change my coupler. I've been struggling with a bust coupler for a while now, so... Um, yeah, that's it. Alright, I'm going to spray gold now and then that'll be the end. Alright, bye. Alright, I'm using Valspar metallic gold to spray it gold, so um, again, don't sp start spraying on the model, always start spraying and going across, I think it's the same when you're spraying car parts, but That's what it's starting to look like. I mean, if you didn't put any acetone on it, you'd see the lines horrifically. Right now, they're kind of subtle. I 
And my friend wanted a gold one, so I thought I'd give her a gold one. That's it. Sorry, I'm not kind of looking through the camera lens when I'm doing this. I'm just trying to focus on getting the spray on the model. And just the bottom a bit. And that's that. Now you can, uh, there you go, you can see the model, what it looks like. Hold on. So, you know, the lines really aren't that prominent. And that's it, the, the gold model, sprayed and finished. Alright. 